Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Civilization video. My name is Legend Ronnie and I will try to present to you Rise of Civilization the best way I can. Today we are continuing our Commander Spotlight videos or series of video. And for today I have chosen a very special commander and his name is Minamoto. That's right, Minamoto or Minamoto, or how would you like to call him? Before I go any further into him, I would like to mention that he is a VIP commander. What well, is that idea. mean? That means that the only way you can obtain his sculptures is by purchasing the VIP bonus chests. So you can see that I still have not uh, purchased all of them. So I am missing like 440 sculptures. If you did not know, in order to try to go you through and I will try to explain about Minamoto how you could make him a very very viable commander without spending that much if you do plan to buy him. Of course, if I am correct, he is the first commander that you get when you do your first purchase or first recharge. <clears throat> So let's go back and talk about Mina Moto. <clears throat> His main skill is probably the best, if not the best, nuking skill there is in the game. So if you want to have a very usable, a very viable nuker, Mina Moto would be the best choice you want to go with. Once you maxed out his first skill, which I advise everyone to keep your legendary commanders at one star, maxed out their first skill, make them very very good at something and then if you do plan you can continue forward with him, but at least he will be very very good at something. So once Minamoto got his first skill maxed out, he will be a crazy nuker, a very very good nuker. After that, if you do plan to spend a little bit more on him, and I can tell you that you can max out his first skill if you pay attention and not go all the way on his stars and pay attention and just keep him at one star then at second star to max out his second skill he will be a insane cavalry nuker commander in the same time so you can use him with your cavalry and nuking in the same time so the amount of damage the cavalry will get doing the required talents for this particular task so he can become a very, very powerful commander. <clears throat> but this is my uh, my advice. Try to keep him with one star max out his first skill, then a second star max out his, his second skill. And then it's going to be up to you if you want to spend another $150 to max out his other skills. I would say that with, with 30 or 40 dollars or something similar you can max out his first two skills unfortunately i have already purchased them and i don't didn't really count how much it cost but i would say that it was 30 or 40 dollars and i managed to max out his first two skills and that makes him a very very good nuker and cavalry commander now who could minamoto work with best best in slot and the best commander that Minamoto is good with is this particular commander Chao Chao they make the best nuking and cavalry setup together the amount of damage they do is literally literally insane they are overpowered but you have to keep something in mind the skill of the commanders need to be upgraded if you keep their skills at level 1 or like level 2 they will not be that great so you have to keep this in mind because it's very very important that you upgrade their skills not just pair them because I'm just telling you that the best commanders they are the best but you need their skills upgraded in order to make them the best so this is the order and I already told you how many sculptures you need to max out a commander in order to make chao chao very very viable you need his first skill maxed out 
if they can see what it does is literally insane and then i would say that you need at least three out of five if you get three out of five on his on his cavalry then minamoto and chao chao they are insane together and they will do a tremendous amount of damage with only cavalry and to make it even better i already show you the talents so you can set up one of of them to be specialized on cavalry and nuking and you uh, you can set one of them to be specialized only on nuking if that would be your choice and you just swap between them whichever commander you're going to use the same way i'm doing with my lancelot and i showed you that i'm doing with my lancelot because my commanders they are not maxed out so one of them is specialized on cavalry so if i want marsh speed just printing around and harassment uh, on my enemy then i'm going to use lancelot as my main commander if i want to use them for damage then obviously i have to go with the nuking option if you can do both like I, I showed you in the talent skill then that would be a very very <clears throat> great choice now obviously you can see that Chao Chao is not very access, uh, accessible for everyone even for myself I still have his skill uh, at level 1 and I'm debating about something right now that's why I'm not upgrading his skill <clears throat> but if you do uh, one for cavalry setup another option is with lancelot and if you only care about marsh speed or you want to get the best of the marsh speed you can see that dragon lance once you max him out it grants you another 10 percent marsh speed then you get another five percent cavalry attack and another five percent cavalry defense so if you care about the speed then dragon lance gives 10 percent marsh speed compared to any other if you want to have the highest march speed as possible you can see lancelot grants only five percent march speed but the other skills on lancelot they are much better all right now out of the cavalry another viable option if you just want to if, if you only care for new king or for example you don't want to spend that much but you do upgrade his first skill you can check out tomoe you can check out her second skill which grants him another 15 percent skill damage bonus so that is pretty pretty insane another thing i want i want to remember since he uh, i want you to, to remember since he is a new king commander you have to realize he doesn't have defensive skills so he will not be the main commander that is going to take direct damage in some very rare situations like the lost temple when minamoto and the uh, chao chao were the main commanders with only cavalries was the reason because in the lost temple there are two million archers and cavalry are the ones that pin down the archers plus there were tremendous amount of troops next to the rally reinforcing for the lost temple so in some very rare occasions uh, Miramoto can be the main commander for rally he can also be the main commander for rally when you do the barbarian forts because the bigger the rally the more the more damage is going to do so in a 1 million or 1.2 million or something similar to that Miramoto does a tremendous amount of damage to the barbarian force <clears throat> you can use him in in multiple combinations of commanders if you want to use him with uh, cpo if you want to use him with uh, with charles martel he can boost the cavalry if you have the skill upgraded significantly and he can do a significant amount of damage and let's not forget about his last skill which obviously will require quite a significant quite some money to max it out but if you do max it out it grants you 10 percent chance so the target can take extra damage the way i would advise you 
to use Minamoto is in nuking combination. Do not try to make a defensive nuking combination because it will not really really work that much. I said you can group him with, with CPO. That is because of his second skill and then because of his expertise skill. So if you group him uh, with CPO, the cavalry will have a significant amount of chance of doing a significant amount of damage. Plus the troops capacity, you can get a lot more troops uh, into your group. And then, well, you're not going to attack cities with cavalry. But this first skill is going to increase your counter-attack damage bonus. And you can check the battle log what counter-attack damage bonus is about. But it can give you a slightly amount of defense. But mainly, the reason I said it can work with CPO is because of his second skill. I already told you Lancelot and, and Chao Chao. I have also used in some of my videos, I have used Minamoto with Charles Martel. And the reason I have, I have done that and the reason they worked is not necessary for... Uh, the amount of damage it absorbs with this shield but is the amount of damage bonus that the cavalry will get plus the amount of damage bonus the cavalry gets from Minamoto and then Charles Martel has this particular skill with uh, counter attack damage bonus so that's why they work together Minamoto can also work for cavalry with Pelagius Pelagius expertise skill just made cavalry even even better so another 50% attack and defense on cavalry so this could be pretty pretty sick plus nuking and some healing so they could make a very nice pair together when it comes to cavalry since he's uh since he has a damage bonus to Barbarians also makes him a, a very good jungler. So I hope that I pretty much covered as much as is possible ab about Minamoto. As I said, you can use him in various, various combinations with commanders. But my advice would be just to use him in either New King combination or Cavalry combination. That's where, where he would excel the most. First and second skill, they are the most important. If there is anything or if there is something I missed about Minamoto, you can always drop a comment in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer you. But I will say that he is a very very great legendary commander to have. So until next time, this is Legend Ronnie. And don't forget, you are not born a legend, you become a legend.